guys, it's Monique from Vegan Living 24-7. So in this video, I am going to do a favorites list for the month of May. It's actually the beginning of June right now, but I figured, hey, why not get into this? The reason why I want to do these kind of videos is so that you guys can get to know me and hopefully I can get to know you guys too. If you guys want to answer these questions of like what my favorites are, like if you want to answer them for yourself, what your favorites are and put those in the comments down below so I can get to know you as well. Okay, so also you can, if you don't like this list, I've, I've compiled the list over here. If you don't like this list, then, um, and there's certain other things that you want to know what my favorites are for June, then please also leave that in the comments and I'll try to get that into my next month's video. My favorite song this month has been Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. I don't know, I'm sure most of you that listen to the radio have probably heard this song. It's very, very catchy. Um, and I just think his voice sounds really nice in this video. It's not like I have the hots for Ed Sheeran or anything like that. Like, I'm not saying he's attractive or unattractive. I just really, really like that song. What's your favorite song? My favorite book for the month of May was Tiger by William Richter. This is the first book. The second book I actually purchased um, on my phone. I just read it on like the ebook thing. So basically, I took this on the plane with me, this one to Florida because we went to Florida for about 10 days to go to Orlando to check out Disney World which I will be making some videos for you guys in the future for that but um, yeah on the way back like I, I finished reading this in like I don't know four, four or five days like I was just reading it every now and then when I had some downtime at our resort but um, on the way back I didn't have anything to read and I was so bored like waiting in the airport and everything like that so I purchased the tiger the second book um, through the app anyways so it I like read that entire thing in that entire day yeah so I read I, I think there's like I don't know 400 600 pages I can't remember how many pages but I read it all in that one day it was so intense there was so much action I actually even went on to William Richard's Facebook page like not his personal profile but his page and I like asked him if he's gonna be making a third one and he said unfortunately that there was no plans to make a third one just yet but um he is in the middle of writing some other type of book so hopefully yeah i'll probably keep an eye out for that and i'll probably read that because i do, I do like his style of writing and um i don't know yeah if, it was kind of like inserting myself into an action movie is basically how i would explain it uh so yeah i would definitely recommend checking this out look up this series uh unfortunately there's only the two books i think there should be a third one but maybe in the future who knows the month of May, my favorite breakfast was a shake. There's a shake that I like to make with um, one or two bananas, a tablespoon, like a heaping tablespoon of cacao powder, and a heaping tablespoon of peanut butter, and then some almond milk. And I just blend that up and it's all it's so creamy, it's so tasty. Uh, sometimes if I want to add some extra nutrition to it, I'll add like hemp seeds or kale, or else I'll add some dates to like help sweeten it a little bit. meal for eating out at a vegan restaurant was the Mosaics Musina poppy salad. I'm not sure if I said that right. Anyways, I normally don't order a salad when I go to a restaurant because there's so many other things that you could order. Um, but I've been to Cafe Mosaics a lot and I was, I'm just kind of going through the menu trying out different things. And so far that's like one of my favorite things on the menu. Um, it normally comes with goat cheese so obviously I get it without. And then I get the portobello mushrooms added to it. So without the portobello mushrooms and just the salad itself, it's like $17 and then you add the portobello uh, grilled teriyaki mushrooms. So those are an added $3, so it's $20, but I, it's just, I don't know, it's amazing, I love it. So if you're ever there, I would definitely recommend checking that item out on the menu, reading the description and seeing if that interests you because it is so good. So my favorite meal at a non-vegan restaurant for last month was probably at Disney World when we were in the Animal Kingdom park. So there's like a whole bunch of different parks within Disney World. And we were in Animal Kingdom and we went to Tusker House. Um, yeah, it's a big buffet. So there was like a lot of different options for me to eat. 
and uh, it was cool because like if you just tell them that you're vegan or that you have like some sort of allergy or something like that they'll give you like a little allergy menu card and then you can kind of just follow along with that when you go to each like little buffet section because they'll say like hot food one like for and then it'll be like four or five dishes and then it's like hot food number two four or five dishes and you just follow along and it'll tell you which ones have like the allergens that you want to avoid and that sort of thing so yeah it was pretty easy and the food was good My favorite TV shows for the month of May was um, Shameless US. I haven't tried the regular one that's from the UK yet. And also Girl Boss. Girl Boss is like a sh one of those short sh movies. Ah. It's one of those short shows where it's like only like a half hour episodes. But I and so I usually find that whenever you're watching those types of shows that they're just funny and a lot of times like stupid funny, which that show does have a little bit of stupid funny humor, but it's also like has a really good storyline too like I was like crying in some parts so I definitely recommend checking that one out and for Shameless that one's just like I don't know it's really funny yeah it's like I really like drama type tv shows and that one's like a drama one for sure and a little bit of comedy to it um I also like like a little bit of sci-fi so I do like Senses 8 and I am very sad that they uh seem to be discontinuing it Yes, that was a finger. Okay. <laughs> My favorite store-bought item is this one from Baxter. So I get this from Real Canadian Superstore. I'm not sure if there's other places around the world that also sell this. But Superstore is owned by Loblaws, so there's like different stores companies that are owned by Loblaws across Canada anyways but yeah this so if you're like really miss um a creamy type of soup like cream of mushroom soup and that kind of thing there I don't know if there's mushrooms in here but um this is very creamy I do recommend this and I so I usually add pepper to most canned soups including this one but I have eaten it without the black pepper and it tastes it tastes decent um yeah, I usually just add like spices to like canned soups, so not too, too big of a deal, but it does taste good and I do recommend this. And it's got the little tabby tab. And yeah, I think it was only, it's a dollar something. It's like regularly priced can of soup price, right? Yeah. So for my favorite shirt, I would say, I have two of them here actually. It's probably between this one, Smurf the Planet. This is kind of an older shirt for me. Um, so I wore this one quite a bit that for the month of May. And then this One Million Vegans shirt. So this is a vegan tracker shirt. I've talked about this shirt before in the past. So my number is 932. And it doesn't seem like many people buy these shirts because it's from Australia. And then by the time you like get it shipped over here and everything like that, it's quite pricey. So I don't think a lot of people are actually purchasing them. But uh, yeah, basically, so you'll get the next number in line and it's just their way of tracking to getting to like 1 million vegans or something like that and I do believe that um, some of the money does go to animal sanctuaries and my favorite pair of pants these are dirty so um, they're, I just pulled them from the laundry uh, are these guest ones that I've had for quite some time they're like 200 bucks I wear these actually for my work pants and um then I wear them elsewhere because they're really comfy. I just noticed this part. I don't know if this is leather. Oh no. Oh shit. Okay, well good news is I don't see anywhere that says that there's leather on this. But um... <laughs> so I'm assuming this is like a fake leather. Uh, yeah, anyway. So these are like some tight, basically like skinny jean type things like people at work think that they're jeans but they're not they're like a stretchy fabric they're super comfortable um and I normally don't spend that much money on clothing my mom had given me two hundred dollars to shop with for my birthday like years ago and I ended up purchasing those because they were super comfy yeah she's she's happy and she's okay with me having spent like two hundred dollars of her money on those pants so it's 
it's good, I guess. Um, and they've been lasting me this long, so I would assume. So I think that the money is well spent. And my favorite jacket was this one. I wore this. I really like Hollister, their brand. I always own, I only shop there when they have the half off sale because I don't like, I don't really like paying for brand names at the brand name pricing. I think it's a lot of brand name stuff is really expensive. But yeah, it's really comfy, really soft. So, so yeah, you've probably seen me wear this in um, some of my past videos. Um, yeah, so cozy. I love, uh, I always called these uh, sweaters, like, growing up, and then my boyfriend's like, Monique, these are jackets, like, when it's got the zipper. So now I want to call them sweater jackets, because, <laughs> like, to me, jackets are, like, things that are warmer that you would wear outside, not, like, I live in Canada, okay? Like, <laughs> like it's cold out a lot of times, and so the, maybe, like, in the summer you might wear this, and I guess this was, you could consider it as more of a summer type jacket, spring, spring jacket, I don't know, anyways. I'm still trying to wrap my head around calling this a jacket. But I don't really like hoodies that you have to pull over your head because it like just messes up your hair all the time and if you're wearing a ponytail then you have to like worry about that and that sort of thing. But so it's always my favorite to wear these kinds. Yeah. Favorite jewelry item for the month of May has been these. I've had these for a while as well. They're from Thailand. There's this guy that makes stuff. Where did I put it? So there's this guy that makes these kind of like really teeny tiny earrings and that sort of thing. There's some things that have like Starbucks drinks and like a whole bunch of different things that are like very popular. And then there's some things that are very different, very some things that seem to be more like Thai based. And for me, I, the reason why I chose this was a lot of people think it's a fruit basket. But it's like a dessert thing. So the reason why I chose this was because it looked similar to a dessert that I liked there. Um, I've... I actually kept this. So I went to Thailand like a few years ago, but I kept this. So this is uh, the tag for the contact information to get in touch with the guy if I wanted to like purchase more. So it's really hard to read what it says here. But his email is sanfan underscore nun at hotmail.com. Um, I'll leave that in the description box below for you guys as well. Because I, I get so many compliments on these earrings. They're really lightweight. They're super cute. I don't know. I love them. And I'll just end this video with some of my favorite YouTubers for the month of May. So, Rosatron. Um, it's called The Rosatron. That's Rose from Cheap Lazy Vegan. That's her, like, more personal channel, I guess. And I really like her channel, uh, The Rosatron, because she shows a lot of, like, her traveling vlogs. And I really enjoy watching travel vlogs. Uh, um, I plan on doing travel vlogs myself, including the trip from Florida. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. So another one is Lauren Toyota. Um, so she is from Hot for Food, and yeah, I think the reason why I like those kind of videos or those uh, types of vlog channels is just because I feel like I'm getting to know them a little bit more as a person, and it's just interesting following them along a little bit. Another vlogger that I got into for a little while is called Logan Paul Vlogs. He's not vegan or anything like that, but um, I just kind of found his videos, some of his videos to be a little bit entertaining. So basically, I don't know if he always drives a school bus or if that was just for a little while just to make his channel entertaining or something like that. But at one point he um, purchased like 500 balls, like the balls like this big and those colorful ones and he filled up his bus with it and made a big ball pit and I just, I don't know, I, I was fascinated by it for a little while. Yeah. Kind of makes me wonder what he's gonna do with all those balls now, so like if... He, oh, uh, he seemed like he was kind of like conscious about the environment so hopefully he just donates them to someone that's actually gonna use them and doesn't just throw them out. Anyways. And the last YouTuber that I was getting really into is Earthling Ed. He is probably, as you can tell from the name, is a vegan and um... I really, really recommend watching his videos, uh, especially to try out the one titled How to Speak to Non-Vegans. I think that his message is very important and I just think that the way he comes across and speaks to people is like really good and I actually aspire to be like that. I aspire to have my activism to his level. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get that good but you know, you just gotta be yourself and just like talk to people compassionately 
but making sure not to talking to people to make them feel like they're on the defense because as soon as you talk to someone and it sounds like you're attacking them they're gonna be feel like they're on the defense and then they're not gonna be listening to you so yeah I definitely recommend checking out his channel I really did enjoy it thanks so much for watching this video guys I hope you liked it I do feel like I rambled a little bit on this video so I do apologize for that thank you so much for watching straight to the end if you have made it this far and I'll see you in my next video. Veg, peace and love. Till next time, guys.